Hello friends and welcome to almost the last day of Bird Week and this is going to be a partial unboxing. So I got an order from VIP Cross Stitch. We do have a discount code which is geared 10 and I have several items in this bag but we're only going to unbox one of them today and then I am going to work on it a little bit because one of the items is bird related and it is this amazing owls cross stitch this is um kind of funny because martha was just in the last video talking about how we kind of ignore the um birds of prey and like the more aggressive birds and we're always making like cute little birdie stuff and so this is kind of fitting that this is a couple of owls and what i love about this is the colors in the cross stitch and i'm dying to see how they did the threads for these because this is like gold color so i'm wondering if these are yellow or if they're metallic threads or what um i'm not holding out a lot of hope for metallic threads because those are kind of a specialty item but i'm really interested to see how they create this picture so let me just open this stuff up and I'll save you from the crinkle. I will cut it out. Okay, and this one is Jing Lei brand or Jing Li brand. Um, it's 40 by 50 and it's just called Owl stamped cross stitch. So, oh, this is a little different. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this pattern is laughably small. Um, so good thing it's a stamped cross stitch because look at how tiny that is. I mean, in a pinch, you could look and kind of see what you need to see if something got blurry, but that is a completely unusable pattern otherwise. <laughs> okay, it's got 30 colors and it looks like, um, yes, these are the same symbols that are on the actual cross stitch so there's no picture of the actual rendered drawing we have our regular instructions and let's have a look at the let's look at the threads first so um as i thought there is not um there are not metallic threads but the colors wow and i'll keep a small image of the picture over to the right so that you can see like these beautiful greens that are in the owl a nice dark blue um, some silvery color threads look at this dark green wow that's really nice and i guess we're going to get that gold color by like a gold color thread maybe like these two more golden colored threads and some more silvers and grays and then on the other side, we have um, beautiful cream colors, some more um, golden browns that I think will work in the gold, making that gold color. And then, wow, look at these colors. These are going to be such beautiful colors. Um, the image is going to be amazing with these colors. And I'd like to point out that there are only 30 colors, but as you can see, this is more of an illustration image rather than a photo. So I think they might be able to get away with the 30 colors, no problem. Let's have a look at the canvas and I'll see if I can get the whole canvas in frame. All right, so we have the whole canvas in frame here and I don't normally do this, but I do want to measure the image area. So the image is about 33 and a bit by 43 and a bit. So not the full 40 by 50, which I would have expected. Um, but I was just wondering because there's such a large margin on this side. There are a couple of really nice solid looking needles. These are those really thick looking needles. Um, and I like the idea of that. There is a surprising amount of confetti in this picture. For something that is an illustration with some blocks of color, there is there is quite a bit of confetti. I'm gonna get really close and we're gonna look at the printing. 
So the printing looks really nice. It's not the crispest printing in the world, but everything is in its box. And I do see some potential issues here, such as here there is like a V, a blue V, very close to blue slashes. So we're gonna have to look really carefully. We, I am gonna have to look really carefully while doing this there is like a lime green square and a dark green square so what i'd like to do is just start stitching a little bit and i'd like to try to stitch a little bit of that gold color if possible so let's get started okay after starting to work on this canvas i have identified a problem and that is that these two green slashes are so close in color that they are very difficult to distinguish. So let me use my scissors as a pointer. Um, this green slash here is different from this green slash here. And where they're widely separated, you can sort of see the difference, but if we look down here, for example, it is very difficult to see what's going on. We have a lighter green slash, darker green slash, blue color, light green, dark green, probably dark green, probably light green, dark green. Like they're very difficult to distinguish. And then on top of that, we have these plus symbol greens that are difficult to distinguish. I tried going back to the pattern to see if that would help. But the pattern is even worse. This is actually light green, light green, dark green, blue V, light green, dark green. And you can see the pattern isn't making it any clearer. So when I started doing this project, I started doing a little bit of the stitching. I took a picture of the pattern, blew it up so that I would be able to figure out um, where, where the light green and dark green was, but, um, the pattern was of no use. So actually looking back, sitting back at eyeball distance is the best way to distinguish between the light green and the dark green, but it's going to be tricky the whole way through. And the, luckily the two colors aren't that much different. So it's 06 and 11. So these are the two colors. One is that beautiful gold and then one's like this tawny color. So if you get the odd stitch wrong, it's not going to look too out of place. Um, but if you were to do the entire canvas wrong, obviously those are different enough to, to make a difference. So uh, that's very tricky and very annoying. And um, as far as I'm concerned, that's that's just bad printing and really not acceptable for um for these canvases but it is still doable so i am going to continue on um, but this is why i think it's a really good idea to have a very close look at your pattern and at potential pen, potentially tricky symbols before you even start so that you know what to expect and if something like this comes up you are more prepared to deal with it or decide whether you're going to abandon early all right, it's about 15 or so minutes after the last clip that I recorded and um, I have started to be able to distinguish after staring at these green symbols for a while and staring at them on the picture. So what I have figured out is that if it has like a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, it's supposed to be the lighter color. And if there's no yellow tinge, it is supposed to be the darker. Now, the drawback is that there's still a little bit of yellow tinge on some of these darker ones. So for example, coming down here, sorry about the reflection, but we have like these darker ones, darker, 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 darker. This one's obviously got the yellow tinge, but what about this one? This one's kind of transitional. Is it yellow? Is it not? I feel like this one's definitely dark. This one definitely has yellow. And then this one is kind of, eh, I don't know. So I would call this as dark, dark, yellowy, 
dark yellowy, but I think there's like a lot of room for interpretation here. So while a few of the symbols look pretty obvious, some of them really aren't. So what do I have to say about this? I would say that if you really like this image and you want to try it, then go for it. You can distinguish those symbols with a little bit of pain. And again, if you get a stitch here or there wrong, it's not gonna make a big difference. They do occur together, which is part of the problem, but also makes it so that if you get one or two stitches wrong, it's not gonna be that noticeable. Um, however, if you're looking at this canvas and you're thinking maybe, maybe not, then maybe I would go for a different canvas from VIP Cross Stitch. Um, VIP Cross Stitch has really fast shipping. For the most part, they car carry the same canvases as other companies. So um, I don't recommend against VIP Cross Stitch. Just this particular canvas is going to be very confusing. Now that is the only symbol pair that I have found that's confusing. Only those two greens. Everything else is very easily distinguishable. So um, for a little bit of pain with those greens, you can finish the rest of this canvas very easily. So keep that in mind. If you really like this image, I think it's really cute. I do really like the way they're getting that gold effect with this gold colored thread. Uh, I'd like to continue doing a little bit more, but as we all know, that progress on cross stitches is slow. So <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to stitch his whole face in one video and show you what it looks like. So wouldn't that be awesome if I could? Maybe I can hire the neighborhood kids to help out with my videos. <laughs> all right, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for joining in on Bird Week. Don't forget to get your projects in, a picture of your project by Sunday, February 11th, 2024 at midnight. And we will show your project on the channel and you'll be entered into the draw. Have a great day, everybody, and we will see you later. Bye.